Donald Trump installed his son-in-law Jared Kushner to be responsible for the Middle East. The Kushner family is friends with the current Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, so Trump has a has supported whatever the Prime Minister desires. Trump moved the U.S.-Israeli embassy to Jerusalem. Now, Netanyahu is just three weeks out from his elections, so Trump decided to invite the Prime Minister to Washington creating a definite leg up for Prime Minister. The commander-in-chief just trashed over 50 years of U.S. policy about the Israelis' occupation of Golan Heights. After 52 years it is time for the United States to fully recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, which is of critical strategic and security importance to the state of Israel and regional stability. In the Six-Day War of 1967, Israel captured the Golan Heights from Syria and annexed it in 1981. However internationally, the move was never recognized. Instead, other countries consider Golan Heights occupied territory and the Israeli settlements illegal. Former U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta worked for President Barack Obama and said this looked like a move to increase Netanyahu's votes, and this raises a lot of concern. It's hard not to put two and two together. The president has made clear his support for Netanyahu. Netanyahu tweeted Trump his thanks at a time when Iran seeks to use Syria as a platform to destroy Israel, President Trump boldly recognizes Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Thank you President Trump. At Rialdan al-Trump.